and we're back. Now we see that we've got our sun and our background layer both going up to about 40 frames. This black dot in the bottom corner means that there's content and since content has started it means that there's a keyframe. My goal is to get my son to move from here over to here by the end of the movie. If I choose to move my son from one location to another I also have to go in the timeline and create a new keyframe. In the timeline I'm going to right click and choose insert keyframe. That's going to insert a keyframe wherever I see my scrubber. You know you'll have a keyframe because of the black dot. If I choose that keyframe by highlighting it and move my symbol across, I'm setting the end position. So at the end of my movie, my son is going to end up here. At the beginning of my movie, my son will start here. And here beginning here. If I click throughout this entire timeline, you'll notice the sun is always in its beginning position. Unless I choose the keyframe where I've indicated its end position. What I need to do is I need to find a way to have each frame as we go along our timeline updated with the position of the sun so that it smoothly transitions from its beginning point to its ending point. The way I do that is by right clicking on the timeline in the middle, not at the beginning town keyframe or the ending keyframe. And I'm going to choose create motion tween. When I select that, you'll see this blue arrow and you'll also notice that the sun has moved. Now, as I click along, you'll see that the program has automatically moved the sun each frame a little bit towards its end position. And if I go to the beginning and hit enter to play my movie, we'll see that sun move slowly across the horizon. And now I've achieved some success. Because I've gone this far, it's a good idea at this point to make sure I save my file. I'll hit Control S to save it.